My name is Yinak Kim. I'm graduating in Instructional Tech and Media. That's in Math and Science and Technology Department. I grew up in an environment, in a very harsh environment. Um, so game was something that kept me off of the streets. Teaching kids or throughout the years, I realized that gaming is actually a powerful tool. Growing up, education is at school is here. Education happens in schools. Education doesn't happen outside. Education doesn't happen when you're playing. We, t we learn all these theories about, you know, there's a didactic approach of learning, there's a project base. But the more you learn these theories, the learn more you apply these theories, you realize learning happens everywhere and learning especially happens when you're playing. And if you make that learning environment playful, whether it's using textbooks, whether, you know, yes, you know, standard, standard testing is happening now, but you can make that experience playful, um, learning can happen really, really well and you just motivate, you, you give motivation to a student to learn. Our department had a very good diverse group of you know, educators and uh, technologists, scientists, and also entrepreneurs. And another experience can be having great advisors and uh, great faculty members. Um, I work at my department lab where you know, I will see great professors and they always come by and interested in what I'm doing. Me and a couple of friends, um, we were doing small projects, small gigs for different um, small companies or small clients. And we decided, hey, we're doing it anyway. Why don't we just group up together and, you know, actually cooperate our team and, you know, build a startup where we can actually, you know, encourage each other and collaborate, you know, developing a game in-house and also doing these consulting jobs um, with different clients. Right now, I am wholly devoted with my startup. Um, we have, we're pitching a couple game developments to a big company. And also, I've been approached by a couple media companies and a couple um, online MOOC companies that I wanted to uh, work or want me to work with for them. Um, we're also trying to collaborate with different um, schools. Um, but as if right now, um, after I graduate, I'm going to take a month off, go to Guatemala and, <laughs> and you know, enjoy that nature and just relax and think, you know, find myself again.